You ever see other YouTubers' videos and have this buttery smooth footage? How do they get rid of all those micro jitters that you see in your own footage? Most likely they're using some sort of camera stabilizer and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about one specific type of stabilizer, the gimbal. Now let me introduce you guys to Zhiyun's newest gimbal, the Zhiyun Crane M3. So what I wanna figure out in this video for myself and for you, is this gimbal good for high quality content creation? Is it gonna get rid of all the micro jitters that I have in my own footage and that you guys might have in yours as well? Overall, is it gonna level up my videos? And most importantly, what we're all probably asking, can it vlog? Oh, on that note, Zhiyun sent us this gimbal for free, but this video is not sponsored at all. They sent us this as a gift. We're making this a review on our own, on our own volition. They are not incentivized at all to make this video. Uh, we just wanna review it because we find it to be a really cool piece of gear. Let's see if this thing can actually vlog. So you press one, two, three. Okay, probably very close to my face. Um, <laughs> so one thing's for sure, this thing is super duper light. Look at that, it's so small, it's crazy. Okay, you're probably asking yourself why at all would you wanna vlog with a gimbal? What's the point, right? If it's light enough and it gets the job done, you can have a very smooth vlog with very minimal camera shake. So that's all I have to say right now about the vlogging feature. So let's actually go get some B-roll and see how this thing works in real life. Okay guys, so we just finished the B-roll sequence. Now let's go see how this looks in post. <laughs> oh, didn't work. All right. All right, I'll just fix it in post. I'm not. I'm not gonna fix it in post. But what I am gonna do in post is use some of the assets that we have from, you guessed it, Artlist and Artgrid. Of course, all the music and sound effects in this video, including the B-roll sequence, was found on the Artlist library. But what you guys may not have realized is that the B-roll sequence was also intercut with some footage that I found on Artgrid. I just wanted to show how well the footage shot on the M3 can cut with high quality footage like the footage from Artgrid. So if you like what you saw in the sequence and what you see throughout this entire video, you can go ahead and check out Artlist and Artgrid in the links below. On with the review. So first off, let's look at the physical attributes of the gimbal. It's actually, you know, pretty obvious. It's a white matte color. It actually goes along with a lot of style nowadays. There's a, there are white colored cameras, white colored accessories. And I feel like it just kind of hops on that trend a little bit. Now let's actually talk about how small this thing is. So I have the legs on because I was just balancing it. It all comes down to convenience and this this thing is convenient. So I can't say it more if this is just so convenient. I'm gonna put the legs back on. Okay, so something else I do wanna talk about with this is the quick release plate. Now the way you can actually attach the camera to the gimbal is through this trans mount quick release plate where you can actually just slide it directly onto the gimbal just like that without having to knock it out of balance every time you need to switch out a battery or you need to move it just a teeny bit. It doesn't completely knock it out of balance. And I just find that to be so much more useful because it's a three axis gimbal, but when you have that extra base plate that you need to slide around, it turns into a bit of a four axis when you're balancing it. And this just saves a lot of time. And I think this is just beautiful, chef's kiss. So something that I've been seeing a lot in gimbals recently in the past few years, and I'm happy that it's in this one, um, are axes locks. I just find them to be so useful because when you're trying to balance out your gimbal, you sometimes want to, to ignore the rest of the axes and just focus on one at a time. So now you can literally lock every axis on its own and now the gimbal doesn't move. Now the camera doesn't move, everything is stuck together. You see that just like that? So now you can specifically focus on each different axis on its own. You can lock this one, turn this one on. All these different axes locks really make it a lot easier to customize and really hone in and zero in on that balance that you have to do before you start using the gimbal to begin with. So along with the gimbal, Gion actually sent us the Pro Kit, which comes with, oddly enough, a microphone, um, which is very, I'm interested to see if this works or not. We're not gonna look at this in this review just because this is the gimbal review, um, but it comes with a whole system to set up your microphone to it. This is a, um, what do they call it? 
So this is actually something that they call the trans mount expansion pack. And what this does is it attaches directly to the bottom of the gimbal. You reattach the legs to this. It's an interesting direction to go in and I wanna see where they're gonna take this. And of course the gimbal also comes with a phone mount as well. So you can attach your mobile phone. All phones are mobile nowadays, but you can be a mobile filmmaker with this gimbal. Don't think you can. This is actually pretty good. Um, it's very strong. I feel like it's pretty sturdy. Um, I trust my phone with this. The standard pack for this gimbal, which is just the gimbal and the legs come into about $399. Now the combo pack, which is basically everything in the standard pack, but comes now with the bag and with the cell phone mount, that comes in at $449 for the combo pack. Now the pro pack, which comes with everything you have in the combo pack, but also including the microphone, you have the trans mount expansion base, all that in the pro pack comes to $649. The question is, who is this for? Um, in all honesty, I think this is a great go-to for vloggers, for people who also like to do travel videos, also for beginner and new content creators, people who have the APS-C cameras, who don't want to invest in such a big gimbal, they don't have a need to, uh, this is great for them as well. And in all honesty, just in general, even if you're a professional shooting with APS-C, I think this is great. Yeah, I'm honestly, I really do like it. I had a great time shooting with it today. It's super light, it's very easy to use. The balancing wasn't that hard. Um, it was pretty standard like other gimbals. If anything, it was easier because it was smaller. Um, yeah, overall, I think this was pretty, pretty awesome gimbal, if you're asking me. Okay, guys, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching the video, and I'm really happy that we went through this review together of the M3. And if you like this video and you got value from it, then let us know by giving this video a like. And along, comment down below letting me know if you guys use a gimbal, and would you guys like to see a more in-depth review of the M3? And let me know, because I really would like to open up this discussion. I'm very interested in your guys' opinions, so let me know as well. And lastly, of course, how could I even pretend to forget? If you guys would like to subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell, that'd be really great so you guys get notified the next time we put out another video. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.